All right, what is going on, everybody? Captain here, back with another Marvel Conscious of Champions Alliance War Attack video. And in this video, we're going up against the Unstoppable Fury. You can see right here they've got a 7.4 million alliance, 240 around that uh, average. We're almost 8 million and 260 for us. So, fairly even matchup uh, rank wise and ratings and everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how we do. So I'm taking the middle path here. Normally I've been taking the left side, but the guy that normally runs middle here uh, was not available at the moment. So I went ahead and jumped in the middle path. And here I see the top champion is a magic. So I figured um, I'm going to go in with my quake and hope for the best. Hope, kind of hoping that it is a magic because that would be a good matchup for me uh, with quake. And so I wanted to also get some good quake gameplay for you guys. And turns out... It was actually not a magic, it's a Black Panther Civil War, so I'm like, shoot, I have a class disadvantage. But the thing with Quake is, is if you're playing against a very defensive character like Black Panther, you can see he's not even charging in at me at all right now, which just allows me to sit back and hold that charge for the heavy and just eat away at his health, just without even touching him. See, I haven't even dashed forward once yet. He's almost a quarter way down his health. You see right here, I've got 17 stacked onto him. So that stun just lasts so long. Takes a lot of direct damage. Almost takes him directly to half. Finally used my first actual attack against him. So I've only hit him once here and I haven't even been touched. And he's down to about a quarter of his health left. Just still stacking those charges. And he's just about to go down here. And you can see I accidentally hit a block and pull a stun. Get the reflective stun, but then take him down right away. So in the end, I only actually hit him three times, I believe. So I was pretty happy with that, guys. Pretty awesome fight there to show off some Quake action. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. The next one, going straight in. All right, and for this next fight, I figured that one went really well with Quake. I'm going to go ahead and go back with her again. Take a look at the champions. Nothing showing anything that's going to give a hint to who it's going to be. So figured hopefully we'll get another good matchup for Quake. And turns out this one is a magic this time. So it is a, looks like a 550 magic. And it is a duplicated one. So using the heavy charge also prevents her from gaining any power. So we're not going to have to worry about the limbo state. And so doing the same strategy I did against the Black Panther Civil War here. Just hold the heavy and then use it a couple times to like create space. Because when you get back to that corner, it does get a little tricky sometimes. I get saved a couple times here. She was about to use her heavy. Then she activates the stun. And you can see she's about to go down here. There she goes. Again, barely had to touch her. Just did the quake holding for the heavy. Only had to hit her a few times and was able to finish off the attack. So then we had to wait for Giggly over there to take his node down. Only took about a minute or so because he was on top of it. And so then we went in for our third fight of the match. And for this one, again, same thing. Didn't see any major hints as to who the champ would be. Been having some pretty great fights with Quake so far. So I figured we'll take her in for a third round and we get another magic. And this one is a five star, but it's not duplicated. So it was a little bit easier fight. Um, this one was actually played a little bit more aggressively. I got backed into the corner pretty fast. And so I do play a little bit more offensively at one point in this. Uh, but for the most part, I do just hold that charge. But with Quake, you know, you wanna, if you get backed into the corner, like I said with the last one, you just wanna create space so you can push out use a special that special one pushes the opponent back so far and you can see right there that five star went down no problem and so far i'm feeling pretty good about my attacks this war pretty happy with how i've done and especially with quake i've been wanting to show off some awesome quake gameplay because i know a lot of people like her and maybe not necessarily know exactly how to use her so hopefully these first couple attacks have uh, helped show you guys a little bit easier way to use her so for the uh, fourth fight here I same thing. I, I figured Quake. She's she's hot right now. Keep keep the streak alive going with her. And you can see for this fight here, it ends up being an Agent Venom. And uh, I so I decided, all right, I'll do the same thing. But then I forgot. But he has a chance to prevent the opponent from evading. So that automatic evade for Quake kind of messes up. So I have to play this one a little bit more offens offensively. So you'll see I don't quite charge in as or charge the heavy as much as I had in the previous ones, but still I'm able to take him down fairly easy, uh, not too difficult there for Quake as she's a very strong champion.
All right, now it's time for the mini boss here. We end up having a Mordo in here. We only know it because uh, one of the other guys hopped in before I was able to take a crack at him. So it gives a little bit of advantage. Healed Quake up a tiny bit. Figured she will be a perfect matchup for this. So again, you can see he's playing very defensively. So he's just waiting for me to charge in, which allows me to charge my heavy. And you can see right there, I got him up to about 15 stacks of the Aftershock. So that did a lot of damage. Take him down. And right there, I messed up. I was trying to use my heavy because the thing is, if you're holding that heavy while they have a special, you can get messed up really easily and that's exactly what happened there. I tried to let it go so that I could just regularly block the heavy or evade it, but I got messed up. So I went back in with Star-Lord here to try, hopefully try to finish off the fight. You can see I made some pretty poor choices at the beginning and I take some hits that I shouldn't have, but I'm able to recover and get back into the swing of things. Drops his special too. It's kind of an annoying one to evade, but I was able to get away from it a couple times in this fight and I'm able to get my streak going up pretty high. And here toward the end of the fight, I'm thinking, I'm like, I got a good enough high streak. I think I can take him out with my special two. I risked it. And I was able to take him out, which is a good thing, because he was about to smash that special three on me. And might not have killed me, because his special three doesn't do a ton of damage, but it would have done a lot, quite a bit. Um, and then let's fast forward now uh, to the next day when we are up to the boss fight. And it's a Nightcrawler, and I figure I have a pretty good matchup with both the champions I have left up, which is within Black Widow, to prevent his evade. And so I figured I would go in with her. The only thing I have to remember is the stun immune. So I have to do my best to try to avoid uh, messing myself up with that. So right off the bat, I want to try to get him into his swashbuckling. Even though I have Black Widow, I do have the minus advantage for the, her special ability. Um, so I want to get him in the swashbuckling so that he can't evade. He actually does end up evading a few here, I believe. Um, but I get him into swashbuckling pretty uh, pretty early on, I want to say. I think it's coming here in a second. Um, so basically what the way I was doing this was anytime he actually did evade, I would just stop attacking and kind of back off and wait for him to kind of come at me so that I could counter him. Also, I wanted to bait out the special 2 as much as possible. I didn't want to get him to a special 1. So what you're looking for with him is in the top right there, you see the timer where it's uh, spinning there. When you see that coming up, you want to go in and attack him and help that he holds long enough for it to switch him. And so luckily I was able to get him into it finally. So here I'm thinking, all right, I've got a good chance here. Uh, got Time is on my side. I have plenty of time left. I just have to stay smart and attack smart. And hopefully I can take him down. right here I got him down to about half health I smashed my special two do a lot of damage didn't do quite as much as I was hoping but right there his special one he lunges forward so far a lot further than I was expecting on that it seemed to uh, kind of it was kind of weird for me I didn't expect him to go that far uh, so I kind of got wrecked by that so I had to wait because someone else jumped in took him down a little bit more so I jumped in now once he finished with my star lord and again same thing I want to get him into the swashbuckling as soon as possible and right there I kind of went in and he evaded out of it right away and here I get very close on one hit away and then he evades out of it so a little bummer I was a little annoyed right there and I take a few more hits I'm almost down finally I get him into the swashbuckling right there and now I just got to do my best to avoid this because I can't really take any more blocked hits either. And so I just want to be clean throughout the rest of this fight. Hopefully take him down. And here I hit the special two, hoping it was going to take him down. It didn't, but luckily it did power drain him. But then again, he jumped forward so far on that. It seemed like he was, this Nightcrawler was shooting forward on that special two or special one a lot further than I've ever seen him do so sadly I was not able to take him down for this fight someone else had to come in and finish him off all right guys now here we are uh, after the war has completed 
So I will go ahead and jump in to show you guys how we did. Our next war has already started, so we're not going to continue there. We're going to go over to history. And you can see we actually ended up losing this war uh, by about 15,000 points. They got one more extra boss kill, which ended up being the difference. We had more exploration. Defender kills, they had a few more, but attacker kills, we had a lot more. We did have one person, as I said earlier, who uh, did not get their defender's place, but I wouldn't say that was a cause of the loss. Um, they just were able to get one more boss kill than us. So sadly, we weren't able to pull off the victory, but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy these attacks in this video. I was pretty happy with them, uh, especially the Quake ones. Those were really awesome. Uh, had some pretty great gameplay with those, but hopefully we can get back on a winning streak. We're on a little bad run here. So hopefully we get back in that win column, but if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you want more of these Alliance War Attack videos. I'm starting to do some more live streams. I've done two so far. The first one went pretty smoothly. The second one had a little bit of lag problems, so I know some other people streaming were having some problems. I don't know if it's on YouTube's side or if it's on my side of things, so hopefully that gets squared away by the next one. I'm not sure when it's going to be. I'm not going to be doing daily or nightly streams, but hoping to do them pretty frequently at least like one or one or two during the week and then on the weekends maybe so check back on the channel for those guys follow me on twitter to keep up to date also i'll be posting on there if i'm going to be doing a live stream so thanks for watching guys and i will catch you next time